Now, if you want to argue that like those white folks have uh, a, a little bit of black in them, that uh, you know what nah, I'm saying? because of the one drop rule, you one drop of black, you're black. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we can argue. You can argue. I can understand your argument from there. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I ain't never heard that rule, man. Look it up, bro. It's legit. It's a real thing. One drop, you black. One drop of black in you, bro. You're black. You ain't nothing else but black. You're black. We call ourselves city, but we global. And everybody that has a voice is allowed to be vocal. Bro, people be on Facebook arguing about the presidential presidential candidates and. And things that so I don't really get into it because like, I don't really get into it. Reason being is because there's been I, I'm, my whole 27 years of life. I, I'm not gonna say the number off the top. Of my head. I don't know how much presidents has been through mm-hmm. throughout my lifetime, but um, through my 27 years of life, ain't ain't no president really like damaged my life. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. ain't, ain't no president was like, ain't no president that that in the whatever you call it in in office really like made changed my life. You know what I'm saying? So I, 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 I would I would challenge you on that. I would challenge you on 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 that. Um, I think uh, I think black people need to be more involved, way more involved politically now more than ever. And I, I also think that uh, changes are being made every day that affect uh, our, our our life. Oh yeah, yeah. In, in okay, ways so. that we don't maybe 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 we don't feel it financially ourselves or or you know. Economically, but I think there are in many ways these 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 uh, people in power are affecting our, our ways of living. I, I, yeah, definitely, most definitely, we, we need to be more more when it comes to like political things. We definitely need to be more involved when it mm-hmm. comes to political things. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? When it comes to like policies and and things of that sort. Um, the reason I brought up the president is like because. Oh, you mean the president? And, yeah, and, the president and himself the pres- as the president. People, people really like. I feel like president. The president is just like. Like the celebrity of America, like the main celebrity of America. Yeah. I don't even really worry about that. I, I'm more worried about the policies and mm-hmm. things like you know, what I'm saying cops killing black people in the street. Yeah, yeah. You know, what I'm saying that's the thing that I that I sit there and worry about, like not worry about, but think about, and you know, what I'm saying think about ways that I can possibly help, or in the future how I can help it. Mm-hmm. You know, what I'm saying, but I'm not gonna get into arguing about who's in office. Yeah, you know what I'm saying it's, it's just. It doesn't matter to me. It, it's a, it's a never. It's just an argument you don't win. You don't win. Um, so I mean, I, I will agree with you on this though. I, I think maybe not the president, him or herself, but I think local governments we need to focus on a lot more. I think people are very, very slept on local governments and how, how, how much, um, how much uh, governance they have. That's facts. You know, like our local government can do a lot independently, Mm -hmm. and and do a lot of independently to 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 um to to affect the way we live too. So I think I think black people especially need to be involved with their local government. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Get you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Get your community right before you start worrying about work. Work on the the, yeah. Work on the way up. Um. So yeah, I'll I'll uh. I'll I'll leave that topic where it's at. Like I said, with the whole political thing, it's like religion. You know, it's just one yeah, of those yeah, conversations. Yeah. You just there's just never. Bro, I stay away from I stay away from politics and religion. You know, yeah. with, with everybody, with, mm-hmm. uh, with a lot of people. Um, if if I feel like somebody really like interested in speaking about it, then yeah. maybe I'll get into it. I got a neighbor that uh, this neighbor below me that I always want to talk, but I just keep my mouth closed because yeah. uh, first of all, he's like a avid Trump supporter. Mm. You know what I'm saying, and and. If you if you speak with the avid Trump supporter mm-hmm. and anything you say, that's why I keep my mouth closed. I don't even say that. It's gonna it's gonna be an argument. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. If you be like, nah, then bam, they're gonna be like, well, nah, I, I, I try to avoid that. <laughs> I try to avoid that. Well, they, nah. the, the thing is too, the, like, those, so, so a lot of those discussions need to be had. Yeah, yeah. They yeah. need to be you need those arguments. I think um I feel like uh, with the right people though, like with the right people, there are some, some people, people you can't like ignorant, bro, and you don't know who you're gonna run into. That's ignorant. Exactly, you know. Yeah, I, I always describe America when I, in terms of of black and white folks, um, as a as a household. You know, we're we're two siblings in the same household. Mm-hmm. Um, only exception is that like the black folks are like the adopted child or something. Yeah, you yeah. know what I'm saying, and we're always saying now, you know. We're always trying to claim what we want, you know, like 
like she has a big bed. I want I want a, I want a big bed too. Mm -hmm. Like I want my own room too. I'm tired of sleeping on the couch. You know what I'm saying? We're always going to fight for what we want when 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 it's clearly the household is figuratively owned by uh, you know that's that's 100 you i feel like you're 100 right with that i i have this uh theory it's a theory right now because i don't know how possible it could be mm -hmm. but if if you know what i'm saying all uh black people or you know what i'm saying minorities i'm not just gonna say black people were to Facts. pick up and move to nigeria or something like that you know what i'm saying and 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 get you get your land over there yeah. build that up you know what i'm saying build that up way better than you know how we build in here and just continue on from there and i feel like i feel like that would be much better mm. but i don't know it's a theory it's a theory I ain't you think you think it'd be much better to to build a well you know you know the crazy thing people you know we always hear to go back to your country and woo, woo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. there's been numerous attempts throughout history for black people to to be independent to to that tried the the national the nationalist way you know we we don't we don't see as much of Marcus Garvey in our books and our in our school books, yeah. and we show as heck don't 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 all hear about the um, the uh, situations with with Tulsa, Oklahoma, mm -hmm. and Black Wall Street. Yeah. You know, there's there's many yeah. different ways that Black people have have tried to to build an independence economically, mm -hmm. but um, the thing is that it, it, yeah, you can do it, but you only can do it to a certain extent because Remember, just like you said, this is this is they home. They, they ain't yeah. gonna let they ain't gonna let you take over. They yeah. like, hold up, hold up now. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Cool it. Yeah, you yeah. can you can do that, but this mm -mm, you can't get there. Exactly. And that that's that. Unfortunately, that that probably not gonna change at least for a really long time because minorities are a minority. You know what I'm saying? And we're, we're a very low percentage. Yeah. So. That's why that's my I don't theory. I don't believe those percentages but that's a personal opinion. <laughs> I don't believe all of those percentages and he saw that coming. I have these arguments with these guys. Uh -huh. I don't think minorities or as minor as people as they as as the the national government say we is. Oh, you think we 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 there's more of us I do I do say? believe there are there's a larger percentage of white people but I don't think the percentages on how it's so it's it's like some ridiculous percentage no, no, of how 12, low. 12, 12 percent. Black That's still too low. You don't That's think way too. I, I don't think, think there's look look. Go you don't think it. so because you live in Florida. No, I understand that. <laughs> I understand Bro, that. Go to go to the Midwest. Go to Oklahoma. Go to yeah. I understand. That's where they are. Yeah. That's what that, that's where that percent comes but from. But that's I still don't think it's twelve percent. But that's the you very reason that. that's the very reason why I think there's still more white people. I think those uh those uh you know, like you said, um the Midwest and, and, and stuff there's a lot of, of, of states with, with white folks. Mm -hmm. But um now if you wanna argue that like those white folks have uh, a, a little bit of black in them, that uh, you know nah, what I'm saying? because of the one drop rule, you one drop of black, you're black. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we can argue. You can argue. I can understand your argument from there. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I ain't never heard that rule, man. Well, look it up, bro. It's legit. It's a real thing. One drop, you black. One drop of black in you, bro. You're black. You ain't nothing else but black. You're black. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Nah. I mean. Yeah, man. I just. I just never. I just never. Under, I never uh, believe the the statistics. I, I will say beggars beggars can't be choosers, man. Mm -hmm. As long as black people are paying or playing or minorities are playing the position of, of a beggar, uh, you ain't choosing, man. Yeah. Um I'm not I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm not an I'm not an advocate of, of violence. Yeah. Um neither am I like you know, I won't I won't say the next sentence. But <laughs> but yeah, I'm trying not to get too too uh yeah, too Malcolm yeah. X on here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But um but I do think there's there's a time. There's gonna be a time to make a decision on, on what black folks want to do, exactly. and, and if that decision is to um, to play the part America has been asking us to play, then we would just need to we would just need to shut up and play that part. But as as as, as long as as black folks are being uh, you know vociferous about about what what we want. Um, 
then 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 you either need to to, to shut up or, or or put up. You know what I'm saying? Facts, like facts. you know, yeah, so yeah. so a decision needs to be made. Are you comfortable where you at? Um, or if you're uncomfortable, then do something about it. Yeah, exactly. you know what I mean. That's all I was saying in that regard. It's gonna come to a point where where that's definitely gonna need to happen. Like we like as a whole. Mm-hmm. Even a country as a whole, we are gonna have to figure out what is what's gonna pop, what's gonna happen, what are we gonna do. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. And, and right now, I even feel like like right now, you know what I'm saying. A lot of people are yelling Black Lives Matter and BLM, and you know you got the group, you got the advocate group, and like just not not even just Black Lives Matter, just you know what I'm saying African Americans in general. Like you know back in the day, there was Martin Luther King. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. And then there was Malcolm X. I feel like we, we don't have that solid person right now. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying that. And I'm the type of person I know that everything needs a leader. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? There's always gonna always gonna be a leader in everything that you do that you do. So I feel yeah. like that there's no leader right now. You know what I'm saying? So everything's scattered. I'd hate I'd hate to make this a show where we are spewing um quote unquote uh Conspiracy theory. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, this yeah. isn't conspiracy theory. Um, <laughs> um, black leaders have long been suppressed. I wouldn't even say that we don't have black leaders. I think we have a lot of black leaders. That's, that's facts. That's I think facts. we have a lot of strong, our strongest leaders who are primarily black women. We have some very intelligent, very prominent black women pushing, um, pushing the agenda of equality which is not really what i what i what i i don't think equality is what we need to be asking for Mm -hmm. that's long overdue that's like that's like um some that's common sense yeah it's like (laughs) you're asking to be equal like are you equal if you have to you know what i'm saying so but there are a lot of black leaders asking for for black uh independent uh uh nation and, and, and and you know and liberty and stuff like that but um they they are suppressed. A lot of those voices are suppressed. And when you we think about just think about it, we're sitting here and when we think about what we what we know in school, the first two that come to mind are Malcolm X and Martin Luther King. Exactly. What where are the other ones? You're right, you're right. You that, know what that, I'm saying? Maybe that's maybe that's maybe that's just like because I just don't I don't know them. No, they, that, they, that's right. tr- that's true. They, that, they may be out there. That's <laughs> true. But cogn- you know what I'm saying? Like yeah, it, yeah. it's because we don't we don't know them like that. But yeah, yeah. It's it's also because they weren't taught to us, like Martin Luther King and Malcolm X were. That's facts. That's one hundred percent facts. Were shoved, uh, were shoved in. So, uh, like I said, you know, this is this is a topic that that, uh, and I'm glad we could have this conversation. I, I enjoy making this a platform where we can discuss the, the music and we can discuss the things that give us um, the uh, the uh, liberation to to make music. And stuff like that. I will say that America is a country where where we are blessed with the opportunities that we have to 100%. do to do a lot of things that we do. But a lot of people don't under, don't understand that just because we are able to do that doesn't mean we should be satisfied or comfortable with where we are at. We exactly. we, we come yeah. from a place where if anything we deserve to do that. Yeah. You know what I mean? We are city.